Movie Guide Awards honor uplifting family films. The 19th annual Movie Guide Faith and Values Awards Gala was recently held in Los Angeles, USA to honor outstanding contributions in family entertainment films and television programs. The event was hosted by Kevin Sorbo, who was also the recipient of the Grace Award for Most Inspiring Performance in Movies for his role in What If. What if God came today some kind of missionary letter? Wendy had other plans. Dallas Jenkins is a good friend of mine. He He's the one who directed it and helped to write it as well. And he came to me with a part with Pastor Ben, and it was a wonderful part to be uh, to be in this movie. It was just it was a great experience for me. A divine intervention gives him a second chance. Reverend, I'm ready for you now. Reverend, Reverend. The Keros Prizes for spiritually uplifting screenplays by first-time and beginning screenwriters, sponsored by the John Templeton Foundation, went to Blue Water Metal by Justin Eid, A Gentle Whisper by Catherine T. Kuntz, and Under the Apple Tree by Matthew Hill and Landon Johnson. It's about a pop singer whose fall from fame leads her on a journey to discover the true meaning of life, purpose, and forgiveness. Two grand themes of our script are love and obedience, who do you love, and in loving, who do you obey? So makes some very inter raises some interesting questions about who comes first in your life, God or what the world tells you. Other notable award recipients included Toy Story 3 for Best Movie for Families, The Chronicles of Narnia, Voyage of the Dawn Treader, winner of the Epiphany Prize for Most Inspiring Movie of 2010, and Amish Grace, which garnered the Epiphany Prize for Most Inspiring TV Program of 2010. The evening's Lifetime Achievement Prize, the Special Crystal Teddy Award, went to two-time Oscar-winning composer Al Kasha. First of all, congratulations on your Lifetime Achievement Award tonight. How does it feel? It feels incredible to be appreciated, and all songwriters like to be appreciated, so I think it's wonderful. Why do you think it's important to have positive films in the world? Spiritually, it's totally rewarding. Al Kasha also commented on his experience of setting Supreme Master Ching Hai's poetry to music. It was wonderful because a poem is sort of a longer song, but they're all wonderful sentiments. And they all deal with what I believe in, which I believe in is hope and love and peace. My life is based on that. Al Kasha and his lovely wife, Seal, also mentioned that they are transitioning to the compassionate and wholesome vegan lifestyle. I actually have Parkinson's, but I feel much better having vegan food so I would recommend to other Parkinson people to eat vegan. Go vegan, as Go we vegan. say. Totally. We join in applauding all awardees and nominees of the Movie Guide Faith and Values Awards. May you be blessed with continued success in bringing spiritual and inspirational entertainment to audiences around the globe. Hi, I'm Kevin Sorbo, and you're watching Supreme Master Television.